These are exciting times for believers in Christ who are interested in Bible prophecy. Many of the things that are suggested by unfulfilled future prophecies seem to be trending like never before. And that's why we reserve a few minutes on Sunday morning to discuss a few of those things. We're careful to use recognized, reliable sources for our news and information. And we're never saying the things we report are the fulfillment of prophecy, only that they are the things you'd expect from reading the Bible literally. The Apostle John received the revelation of Jesus Christ exiled on the island of Patmos over 2,000 years ago. He saw a future in which those in power would control every aspect of its citizens' lives. Specifically, John said that people would not be able to buy or sell anything unless they swore allegiance to the leader we know best as Antichrist. China is presently implementing this type of control over its citizens, and quite frankly, it's frightening. The latest article I read was titled, How China is Building Nightmarish Surveillance State with Cameras, Checking Emotions and Tracking Social Credit with Artificial Intelligence. Now, some of this article we've already covered in previous updates. If you haven't heard them, here are two ways China is trending like the Bible predicts. Number one, the communist regime's nightmare-inducing system involves installing spy cameras in all places and using artificial intelligence to calculate a person's social credit score, which would determine rewards or restrictions. We've talked about that, for example, if your social credit score gets too low, you can't travel anywhere. Uh, you, you won't be able to buy a bus a ticket or a train ticket or a plane ticket. They, they pretty much have you wherever they want you and they punish you until your score changes. And then second, the so-called Sharp Eyes program aims to cover 100% of all public spaces with cameras. Citizens will have special TV boxes installed in their homes. They can watch live footage and press a button to summon the police if they see anything with cams available to be viewed on smartphones. And so I can't imagine that there's much on Chinese TV to start with. Uh, but now you'll be able to look around and spy on your neighbors and, and uh, everybody becomes eyes for a super big brother uh, to turn people in. Uh, here are two additional mind-blowing programs. Predictive policing. I, it sounds like I'm making this up, but it's real. Uh, the article says it's another Orwellian innovation, once again taken right out of science fiction, this time resembling the hit Tom Cruise film, Minority Report. Authorities link personal details on the mandatory ID card, which people must carry with a huge database of information linked to that person. The, <clears throat> excuse me, the data includes CCTV footage, medical history, supermarket memberships, uh, i.e. Costco, uh, IP addresses, phone calls, social media usernames, delivery records, residential addresses, etc., etc. Record of friends or love interests petitioning to the government and other subversive activities is also monitored. Basically, the state can record everything people have been up to and draw you to their attention if suspicious activity is predicted. Biometric surveillance, number two, is another sinister development being spearheaded by the no-holds-barred Chinese state. The northwestern region of Xinjiang, the home of the persecuted Uyghurs people, has often been described as the testing ground for this. The pervasive use of biometric surveillance acts uh, means law enforcement can exact total control over the lives of the Ugar population by watching their every move. Now the tech is used in all places of transport, such as bus, train, or subways. Among the Zhejiang tests include scanning cameras which, and I quote, read people's emotions, identifying whether they might be a threat to the state. My default expression is a threat to the state, so that, that could be rough. You know, you ever walk around like, like the Joker in the first Batman movie. Permanent surprise. Hey. Uh, none of this stuff is the mark of the beast. We're not saying that. The mark is a voluntary swearing to worship and follow the beast in the middle of the Great Tribulation. But this is a system that right now has absolute control over the citizens of China, wherever it's being participated in. You can't buy or sell anything without the government's permission. You can't go anywhere without the government's permission. Uh, I, I think you can see that this is uh, easily uh, the, the most solid fulfillment of biblical things that we've seen in a long time. 
as I've said a couple times before, it's as if the Chinese read Revelation and said, we kind of like this tribulation stuff. Uh, let's implement this and control all of our citizens. And you can imagine in China or anywhere else how easy it would be for somebody to come to power and say, by the way, we control everything you do and now you worship me if you want to eat. Uh, and of course, only Christians uh, and uh, you know, Jewish people would have a problem with that. And so it, it's the things that the Revelation said is going to happen, they're going to happen. None of this stuff really moves us because we believe the resurrection and rapture of the church is imminent, could happen any moment. Nothing needs to happen before it happens, and it will definitely happen before the great tribulation. Jesus returns in the clouds. He raises the dead in Christ. He transforms the bodies of living believers to glorified resurrection bodies. We're caught away to heaven while the earth endures that final seven-year campaign of severe evangelism. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready, stay ready, keep looking up. Ready or not, Jesus is coming.